All right, hey, Nate here, and here is a video on how to um, create a Google Cloud Linux version 3CX. Um, it's also PBX and a Flash version 5, uh, powered by 3CX. I believe they're exactly the same. I'm going to show you how to um, create the virtual machine on the Google Cloud and then install the 3CX software um, and get through the wizard as much as possible. I'm trying to keep this within like 10 minutes and let it run completely. Um, so it's a nice, easy, quick video for you to watch and set up your own. Um, so one thing you have to do is you have to set up um, a project and on the Google Cloud and you can find another video or how to um, guide on do that. It's really easy, but um, I've already done that. So I'm under my 3CX Debian uh, project and I'm going to go to here, Compute Engine, and I need to set up a virtual machine running Debian version 8. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to keep the name Instance 1. Um, I'm on the East Coast, so I'm going to use this zone, East 1. Find the zone that you're in and uh, pick it accordingly. I'm going to make this at least 2 megabytes. That should be good for about 16 simultaneous calls, probably anywhere from 30 um, to 40 users. 10 gigabytes of storage is good. I got my Debian Linux version 8. Um, everything's good here. Allow default access, allow HTTP traffic, and hit create. Um, this does not take very long, so while this is getting created, I'll just stand by. What you're going to end up doing is you're going to SSH. It's going to have a little option right here to SSH into the virtual machine, and that's where you're going to run. So look at that. That was quick. That is where you're going to run your um, commands. And you got to do it uh, under root access, and there's a command to run to get to root access, and that command is sudo space dash i. So I'll type that in as soon as this uh, SSH session comes up. All right, sudo dash space dash i, whoops, dash i. Okay, and then there's about four commands that I'll need to run. And I'm going to get that right off this uh, 3CX site. I'm just going to copy and paste all these into here. Paste. Okay, next command. Hitting Control C, then I'm going to the command line. I'm hitting Control V and Enter, and I'm going to hit app dash get update. I'm just going to type it in. I'm getting it from right here, essentially. Let that run through. All right, it is done, and now app.get install 3cx pbx app.get install 3cx pbx and hit enter and do you want to continue yes again I'm going to let this run through in its entirety so you can see how long it takes it does not take that long at all as you see I've already created a virtual machine Linux Debian version 8 and now I'm already installing the 3cx software And um, in order to be able to make this work properly, you do need to open up some firewall rules within the, uh, the virtual machine uh, console platform. Um, and I'll show you that right away here shortly. Actually, while it's unpacking, I'll just go over there right now and save some time. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go back to here, and then you're going to click on here, and you're going to go to networking. Okay, I've already created these firewalls, again, to save some time. Um, you're going to click that, and then you click Select Firewall Rules. And you're going to want to create Firewall Rule. Call it Firewall Rule-3CX. And um, you're going to want to enter all of these right here. And I'll have these in the description. Um, there is a certain way that you have to type these in. And I'll show you that right now. 
Um, so you have to put the protocol and then a colon and then the port number and then you put your semicolon to um, separate and then a space. So as you can see, I have them all in here. Um, and I just make sure that they're in here properly, otherwise it won't, for one, it won't allow you to save. Um, but just exactly how I have this, this is how you're going to want to do it um, for the basic purposes, okay? All right, so let's get back out of here. Let me go to my machine or my SSH. Okay, great, it's done. Um, select how you want to run the tool, I hit option one. Now here, as you can see, it says um, launch HTTP 10.4. It's a local address. Um, it gives you a tip right here. If this is a cloud machine, then you'll need to replace the local IP with your public IP. Okay, to get your public IP, again, go back to Compute Engine and you will see it right here. So uh, let's look at that again. So as you can see, it's HTTP colon forward slash forward with a local IP and then the port uh, is 1515. So I'm gonna wanna basically type all that in. Uh, copy, uh, I'm gonna copy that, come here, paste that colon uh, 1515 and hit enter. Now I'm hitting that machine via the web browser and I'm bam. Now you're going to need to get a 3CX license. Um, the easiest way to do that is is uh, you can search it on the web. Um, if I can find it quickly when I make this video I'll put included in the description as well. Or you can go over pbxinaflash.com, download PBX in a flash. Um, it's back up. Only got three minutes. Uh, PBS Flash now is out. Again, it's the same software. All right, complete the form, fill out this form, follow the directions, and you will get your 3CX license. Again, I've already done this, so I am going to pause the video quickly because um, I, I, I don't want to get in trouble for giving out the license or anything. Uh, what am I doing? There I am. So I'll pause the video and I'll come right back once I got that installed or got that in there and I hit. Okay, so I entered the license key that I received, and now I come to here. Here's your, gonna, um, here's your login credentials. I wouldn't put admin. That's pretty basic. That's pretty much almost every um, username. Make it unique. Definitely with the password, you want to make this unique. Okay. Yes, that is my static IP. Yes to this. Do you want to use or use an I'll just use a local IP. Now, I have already created an FQ uh, DN. Um, that uh, basically you can create one for free during this process with 3CX. Um, so there may have been another step. I don't know. Like I said, I've done this so many times, but for some reason, I think there was another one where I can actually create what I want the FQDN to be, which is fully qualified domain name. Um, so there may be another step. It would say like 3CX.US.com, and then you can you can enter something else ahead of all that, like. Uh, whatever your business is called, ABC Business 123.36.us.com, and it'll create that for you. That may have been a step, a step already skipped um, because I've already done this numerous times. But uh, so now it's creating the, basically the whole flat, the platform, and then you'll go through the wizard to create your extensions and all that unique stuff. And I'm not going to go into detail regarding all that. Um, again, this video was strictly to show you how to um, create the virtual machine on the Google Cloud and install the 3CX. So I've already gone a little bit further than I wanted to, but uh, I'll just get through this basic this uh, first part for you guys. Again, uh, 3CX, you can you, you can do this. You can try this out for free. 
Um, I don't know the whole the ins and outs of how long it's for free and what the license actually allows you to do and not to do. Um, but you can definitely try it out. It's uh, very user friendly. Um, it's probably, in my opinion, the, for the uh, the best um, voice over IP PBX out there. Um, so again, I hope this video was helpful. Helpful. Uh, please subscribe to our channels, our, our channel. And there's other videos regarding 3CX. There's older versions. Uh, a lot of it's the same. I'm gonna click right here. A lot of it's the same. Um, the graphical interface is, has changed, but uh, for the most part, the way you set it up has not changed. Um, has not changed, but as you can see, this is a lot different now. And you're going to want to go through all this um, and set it up. But uh, check out other videos. I'm going to make more videos with the version 15 just to get a more updated because um, something, like I said, some things have moved around, but for the most part, is very, very much the same. All right. Um, again, thank you. Subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or uh, email us. Uh, find us on the web. Um, we're here to help. All right. Thanks.